Hi guys, welcome back to Tip Ranks. My name is Annika and here at Tip Ranks we love to hear what you guys think of different stocks you're looking at and your opinions on the market sentiment. Now there's been a lot of volatility in the stock markets recently and when it comes to forecasting the future it's only natural for us to look towards experts and that would be the market's most successful players such as corporate CEOs, major league investors, financial gurus. This is because they have built their reputation by interpreting the right signs in the market market and converting them into returns and profits and that's what we want. And JP Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon is one of them. JP Morgan is one of the US's largest banking firms and Dimon heads it. JP Morgan actually controls 3.79 trillion dollars of total assets and they have around four trillion dollars of total assets under management so they know what they're doing. Now currently some of the macroeconomic factors that are existing is that many consumers have a sound cash position. There's also increased consumer spending and improved household debt to service ratios. Demand actually believes that consumers are going to drive the improvements in the coming year. And this will be helped with the Federal Reserve policy shift that will aggressively tackle the inflation we've been seeing. So Dimon actually foresees that there's going to be four interest rate hikes in the coming months. So although there are good times ahead, Dimon believes that there will be headwinds along the way. So although there are good times ahead, Dimon does believe that there will be headwinds along the way. So this is the time to hedge your portfolio and invest in dividend stocks. In this video, we're going to look at real estate investment trusts. And real estate investment trusts, known as REITs, are notoriously known for providing some of the best dividend yields out there. So let's look at two REITs that JP Morgan is bullish on and provide us with a dividend yield of up to 9%. The first dividend stock is Spirit Realty Capital and its ticker is SRC. Spirit is a property owner in the commercial real estate investment trust sector. They invest in and lease out properties that are occupied by commercial tenants. Some of their largest commercial tenant clients involve Walgreens, Home Depot, as well as Dollar Tree. So Spirit Realty is focused on commercial American businesses. As of September 30, 2021, they had around $7.5 billion worth of real estate investments. This includes 312 tenants, 35 different industries, and over 1,915 properties, out of which 99.7% are occupied and 53.7% are publicly owned. The current price for Spirit Realty Capital is $49.61. The analyst rating consensus deems it to be a moderate buy, and the analyst price target is $53.38, which is a 7.60% upside based on eight Wall Street analysts offering 12-month price targets for Spirit Realty Capital. Now, their last ex-dividend date was on December 30th, 2021, and the payment date was on January 14, 2022, and the payment date was on January 14, 2022. They gave out a dividend of $0.64 cents per quarter. This gives us a dividend yield of 5.09%, and this exceeds the sector average dividend yield of 1.7%. This is a 200.48% payout ratio, and they've had dividend growth for three years. Spirit Realty Capital also has a strong financial position. As of Q3 2021, which was the last period reported, as we discussed, they had 1,915 properties with 312 tenants and a 99.7% occupancy rate. Spirit Real's investment trust was valued at $7.5 billion, and the largest segment represented by the company's tenants was in service retail at 43.7%. Industrial tenants made up for the second largest unit at 17.5%. So given these soft Solid fundamentals, they have also had solid income numbers. They reported a net income of 32 cents per share in Q3, along with the adjusted funds of from operations at 84 cents per share. And recently, they released their Q4 preliminary numbers, whereby Spirit is guiding towards a similar adjusted fund from operations of 84 to 85 cents per share. 
In addition to this, the company spent $463.9 million in Q4 to acquire another 92 properties and an average remaining lease term of 15.2 years. The new properties are 59% retail and 40% industrial. Each quarter, they tend to increase their property investments. In Q3, they invested $294.2 million, including the acquisition of 31 properties. And as we know from their Q4 preliminary results, they invested in another 92 two properties. So amidst the last two quarters, they invested in a total of 123 properties and they're expanding their portfolio. The Tiprank Smart Score deems it to be a 10 in that it is very likely to outperform the market. Analyst ratings deem it to be a moderate buy. Tiprank's investors are also very positive. Blogger opinions and news sentiment are bullish. Hedge fund activity has also increased, with technicals, as we saw, being positive. JP Morgan's analyst, Anthony Paulone, said that SRC released their Q4 2021 preliminary estimates and announced 2022 guidance, and it's a good picture in our view. Importantly, the company announced its 2022 adjusted funds from operations share guidance of $3.52 and $3.58, which is about 2% above Bloomberg consensus. Driving the forecast is expected a capital deployment of $1.3 to $1.5 billion in 2022, which is meaningfully ahead of our $900 million going into the news. He also said that SRC now trades at a 15 to 20% discount to net lease peers, despite putting up strong deal volume and growth that's toward the top of the pack. Net lease REITs may face some headwinds heading into 2022 due to fears of higher interest rates and more organic growth is likely in other other property types. Nonetheless, the stock remains compelling to us. The second REIT is AGNC Investment and its ticker is AGNC. Now, as we talked about, Spirit was involved in the commercial real estate market. AGNC Investment is involved in mortgage-backed securities. It has a particular interest in those backed by the US federal government. 89% of AGNC's investment portfolio is skewed towards investing in 30-year fixed-rate mortgages. 6% is focused on fixed rate loans of less than 15 years. The investment portfolio totals at $84.1 billion and $53.7 billion of this portfolio is focused in the residential market. The current price for AGNC is $15.31. The analyst rating consensus deems it to be a moderate buy. And the analyst price target is $16.93, which is a 10.58% upside based on eight Wall Street analysts offering 12-month price targets for AGNC investment. Now, AGNC will be releasing their Q4 2021 results in February. But let's take a look at their Q3 numbers to get an idea of where this company currently stands. As of the end of Q3, AGNC had an earnings per share of 75 cents. This was slightly lower than the 76 cents reported in Q2 and the 81 cents reported in Q3 of 2020. However, the company has unencumbered cash at the end of Q3 totaling $5.2 billion. They reported a 37 cent comprehensive of income per common share. 35 cents of this was net income per common share and 2 cents of this was other comprehensive income per common share on investments marked to market through OCI. Their next ex-dividend date is on January 28, 2022 and the payment date will be February 9, 2022 with a dividend amount per share of 12 cents monthly. This gives us a dividend yield of 9.33% and this is much higher from the sector average of 1.7%. Their payout ratio was 47.28% and they showed dividend growth for two two years since 2020. Now, the thing is, with AGNC, they're still able to fund their dividend without dipping into their cash holdings. The company pays out the dividend on a monthly basis rather than quarterly. The current payment of 12 cents per month has been held steady for the last several years and gives us a quarterly payment of 36 cents, 40 cents below current quarterly earnings. But this annualizes to $1.44 for a strong 9.3% yield. The Tiprank Smart Score deems it to be a 10 in that it is very likely to outperform the market. Analyst ratings deem it to be a moderate buy, despite Tiprank's investors being very negative. But blogger opinions and news sentiment is also bullish and hedge fund activity has decreased and technicals have also been negative. But five-star analyst Richard Shane is bullish on AGNC investment and he gives it a buy rating with a $16.5 price target, which is a 
percent upside. And he says that we believe that AGNC remains one of the best managed M REITs within our coverage universe. In our view, being internally managed represents long-term value driver. We believe AGNC's portfolio of agency mortgage-backed securities represents fight to quality assets in the cyclical downturn and benefits directly from the Federal Reserve support with the improved valuations and tighter spreads. We note that increased interest rate volatility may trigger fluctuations in tangible book value per share. So guys, those are the two REITs that JP Morgan analysts deem a buy. Let us know what you guys think of these REITs in the comments below. Are you guys bullish on them? And also let us know your opinions on the market sentiment, particularly with what's happening with the expectation that the Federal Reserve is hiking interest rates to tackle inflation. And if you made it this far, don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button and that bell notification so that you get informed on when the Tip Ranks channel releases a video. And remember, this is not financial advice. Make sure you do your own research. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!